How you going? Well, we're going fishing. Well, the day's work is done inside and it is seven o'clock at night. The tide's supposed to be, I think, full tide today at 7.30, but I'm not really sure. I've got the kayak on the roof, the Prowler 13, it's my dad's one, up there. Got it on upside down too, sorry dad. Should be up the other way, it's not good for the bottom having it like that. Anyway, a uh, bit of bait in the back, a bit of burly, and a couple of rods. And yeah, I've got the wetsuit, but she's bloody hot out there. It's really uh, 27 degrees. You guys in Australia will be going, ah, oh, that's not hot, that's cool, bro. It's hot for me, I can tell you. Uh, that's all twisted. So, um, yeah, gonna hopefully get onto a snapper or a, uh, maybe a gurnard. Perhaps might get lucky and catch rig, because I like rig. Car wire would be nice. Uh, anything would be good actually to go in the pan, cook up. Who doesn't like eating fish? So that's the plan. But there's been no fish out in the bay for a long time. I went past the day and I saw a few birds working the water. And I also saw a couple of boats out. First time in a long time, so that's always a sign. But the biggest sign of all is my gut feeling. It just feels like they might be coming back in. Because uh, they've been gone for about, oh geez, the last fish I caught was last year. I think it was the last week of December. Maybe the 20th or around there. Or the third week. Caught uh, just one fish. Nothing since. They go far out to spawn about oh, 30 metres and then they come back in when the water's a bit warmer and all the tourists are gone I reckon. I don't know if they actually know the tourists are here but it seems to be that way. So anyway I'll stop yakking and we'll get down to the uh, beach and throw the kayak in the water and see if we can catch fish. Chop on the water out there. Can't see any boats out there either. The more stuff you can do on land before you get out to sea in your kayak, the better because it's a lot harder baiting up and burling up when you're rocking in a sea. I'm not very fit right now. I've been cropped for a couple of weeks with a lung infection so I'm just uh, getting back into it. It doesn't take long when you get older to lose your fitness. Oh, I'm currently about, uh, I suppose, a kilometre and a half offshore, maybe a mile, maybe a bit more. No sign anywhere of any seabirds or any fish activity. So I'm going to drop the pick. 
and fish here regardless. It's gone down about oh, four metres, I suppose, maybe five. It's high tide now. It's quite a good swell out here, so I want to have my anchor. And I'm pointing the right way, so I'm facing up into it. Some old pilchards I had. The burley. Yeah, it's starting to work. Gonna whack this hand line over. It's got a couple of hooks on it. Pre baited me line up so she's good to go in. That's a bloody stingray or something. I'm pulling the boat along, I think, I, I think it's got hooked by a stingray. I'm getting pulled along. Fuck. It's gone right out. Whoa! Yeah, I reckon a stingray's got it. There's a big shark or a fish. I'll have to take my anchor up. Pay the sucker. Let me go for this one. It's tying me around. the hell have we got on here boys? Feels like a stingray to me. Getting some line in now. Could be a kingy. Could be a kingfish. Coming to the top maybe. Is so he going to come up? Getting a bit of line in. It's actually taking me out to sea. I'm dragging my anchor. I'm aware I've got the anchor under the boat but I can't get it up. Here we go. There he goes. What is it, a kingy? Or a fucking shark, can't see it. Oh, it's in the wrong way. He's gonna run again. Jesus. But he's gonna get around the fucking anchor line. Yeah, it's gone around the anchor line. That's not what I wanted. That's why I wanted to get the anchor line up. But I can't. It's a big fish. That's a big fish. I'm thinking it's a kingy, I haven't seen it yet. Got me right up the right way now. That might make it easier. Bloody hard not to pull out of this boat. It's pulling me around so much. Oh, I've got me hooked by caught up in here. Hell yeah! I'm not gonna fit on the net, that bastard. Look at that! 
the size of that bastard. Never had a fish that big before. I never caught a kingfish before. Woohoo! I never caught, that's my first kingfish. I never caught one. The legal size is 75, and that's well over 75. What a beauty, eh? Far out. I'll stick a knife in it, we'll uh. I know lots of you guys with boats and that uh, have caught kingfish many times, but we don't get many out here. That's the first one I've ever caught. My son caught one years ago, but I've never caught one, and I've always wanted to. And the only reason I caught that is because uh, I had a small shark. I felt a hit, I got a little maybe, oh, I would have only been probably about 20 centimetres long, and only tiny little grey shark it was, I could tell by the way it's biting and there's heaps down there and what happened was the kingfish saw that and went smack but what I didn't realise is it had my hook in it and that was um, what I knew, we're in for something big here so I'm stoked because it's my first kingy and it's definitely within the legal size, it's well over 75 so I'm just over the moon probably going to smoke it up, give some to my dad some to Awi, some for my kids, some for Awi's kids, and any left over we'll give to the neighbours. But well, I think it'll probably all get eaten in the next couple of days. Right, sun's just about to go down as you can see. So I'm going to start heading back in before uh, it gets too dark. Well, back on the beach thanks for watching the video <laughs> hope you enjoyed as much as i enjoyed making it for you be good if you can't be good be careful see you later